Well, hello. I uh, have another recon tool. Um, this is the last one, I promise. Uh, <laughs> I um, I promise that I don't buy all recon tools. I, these last three purchases here uh, have all just happened to be. I think I bought this one over the Nova Comet uh, because the or the Comet Two because the Comet Two is back ordered and this was on sale. So. <laughs> Uh, that's what it ended up coming down to because they, when I looked at just the specs and everything else, they were so close. Um, but this is the 70 220 VSR. Lots of numbers again. Um, and it's a MIDI, it's their MIDI lathe. And I have absolutely loved turning on it. Uh, I have used it probably way beyond what they they thought I should turning uh, natural edge bowls that can barely fit on here off off center turnings just off balance you know I've done stuff that's off balance the entire time you're you're turning on it I've done inside out turning I've done I mean I've done a lot of spindle turn I've done like candlestick holders and stuff but I've done a lot of different stuff and it's held up to everything all everything I've put it through um, as far as the lathe the controls here are nice the the the, the dial is accurate very yeah. smooth brings it up smoothly brings it down smoothly uh, they have a safety feature that prevents you from just switching it between forward and reverse without uh, without thinking and when my uh, one and a half year old is in here, I can take this out and he won't turn it on. Which he actually ruined one of my takes by uh, sneaking in here and turning my lathe on when I wasn't looking. Uh, <laughs> and if you have kids, you you know how that goes. But um, mosquitoes are out. Go away. But uh, this is been a great little lathe. Uh, now I, I did not uh, purchase the the stand that you can buy with this. I instead it made my own out of uh, two by fours and uh, it looks like a two by eight. Um, and it's done quite well. The stand's done quite well. Um, you know, not quite as heavy as some of the other stands, and so this starts to vibrate a little bit sooner. But that's okay. Uh, let's see, things I love about it, um, almost everything, uh, the, everything's just really solid, really quiet, I don't even wear, I have fairly sensitive hearing, and I usually wear hearing protection with, like, every single power tool, but I don't have to with this, it's just, I mean, you can just hear it for a second here, just, uh, turn it on, and it's just a little whir. So, love that. Uh, the belts, it is a little bit annoying that you have to change belts. <laughs> You've got three belt positions. Um, you can find the specs on that. But, uh, it's a little annoying that you have to change the belts, but it takes about a minute to change them. It, it's not that, that bad. Um, I usually keep it in the middle for most of my turning. Uh, for the really off off balanced ones, I'll put it down at the lower setting, and I don't know that I've ever put it at the higher setting. I probably should have for some of my really small spindle turnings I've done, but I just haven't bothered because those go like two seconds real quick, and then you're back to where you need the middle belt, and I just didn't feel like changing the belt. Um, it does have a a stop here if you pick this up. You can see there's numbers, and you've got a stop, and it basically get you can decide you can find which degrees you can set your and you can make marks along your piece and and use that to set up different things, and that's very nice. Um, or you can just set your stop if you're going to do a little bit of hand sanding and you don't want it turning all on you and, and things like that. Very nice. Uh, one horsepower motor I have bogged it down it's possible 
I don't really know how I did that. It's usually on the lower speeds that, that, that you'll bog it down. And, but not very often. Uh, it, it's very rare. If I bog it down, usually I just go, I mean, I can just take a little bit lighter cuts or turn the speed up and then I stop bogging it down. That's it's all it, that's all it, uh, all it requires. Um, a couple of problems I've had. Again, there's some just plain steel parts on here that I put wax and stuff on to try and prevent it from corroding and it hasn't worked. So if you know of something to help prevent just the coating you put on here, it won't get all this dust sticking to it, but it'll prevent everything from rusting. I'd love to hear about it. I, I'd really appreciate it if you comment down below and just see uh, see see if I can figure something out because I, I really don't like that I've got uh, uh, there's corrosion a little bit of corrosion on the bed light it's light corrosion it's not like it's like falling to pieces but and then it's, it's got it also here on the the part that goes in and out on the tail stock so that you know whatever um, one other thing I found is I actually had these screws that hold the headstock here. These these are Allen head screws. And I actually had them come a little bit loose one time. And I think it's because I've turned so much stuff that's off balance. Hello, my battery died. So this video is a little interrupted. But uh, what I was saying is that uh, I actually have had these screws. Uh, come loose on me before. Uh, these are just some Allen head screws that hold the headstock on. And I, they, that may have been because I turned, turned a bunch of stuff that was off balance. And so if you are turning a bunch of stuff that's off balance, just go ahead and check these every once in a while. I'd recommend that. Um, I haven't had them, after I tighten them down again, I haven't had them come loose since. Uh, so it may have been just something where somebody in the factory didn't tighten them down quite as far. I guess they were tight, but not as tight as they could be. I don't know. Uh, not a real big issue. Uh, this here is, I don't know if you can see it, Nova G3 Chuck that I bought originally for my shopsmith. Uh, it's, it was the only chuck that I found that had the attachment for the shopsmith. And uh, I eventually went away from the shopsmith to this for turning uh, when one of my pieces on the shopsmith broke. Um, I was looking at what it would take to optimize the shopsmith for turning and decided to go with uh, purpose-built lathe just because I was wanting to do a lot of turning and a if you, a purpose-built tool always does a better job than a general tool for that uh, specific purpose and I've been very happy that I did that so uh, overall I definitely recommend it um, I've had a lot of fun with it and hopefully this helps you uh, decide which lathe to purchase and I hope you have a lot of fun wood turning.